Did something else explode that? Whoa! <gasps> it's a hunter! Yes! We got the hunter slime! There's some more honey slimes! Let's go grab some of you guys. We only have one at home, so we might as well get as many as we can. So we can get ourselves some friends. Whoa, look at that! What is that? That's a teleporter to like another... Can we go on the other side of that? Oh. Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher 2 here today on the channel. Today, we are going to be going heading back to the third island over here. And we're going to go explore some more of that island and hopefully find ourselves the Flutter Slimes or the Hunter Slimes. Before we do that though, I believe that we have some more messages here that we need to read. And hopefully we'll find out a little bit more info about Rainbow Island. So we have something from everybody here. So uh, sit down, grab a drink, because we have a whole bunch to go through. And let's start off with Victor. Ah, Beatrix, I was cleaning up the lab and found this. Perhaps you have some use for it. I believe it's still in working order. You know what they say, one person's trash is another person's hastily issued gift. Enjoy. I agree the spontaneously, uh, spontaneity scares me too. Oh, okay. So we got us as a blue home portal. We could probably throw that on the second island. Okay then, uh, before we go read anything else, let me go see how expensive that is to make. Because if we can make that now and take that to the island, that would be absolutely fantastic. How much is the blue portal? The blue portal is not very expensive at all. We can make that right now. There we go. So we've already got the blue portal now. We can use that. Whoops, wrong way. We can use that on the third island when we get there. Thank you, Victor. I was expecting it to be something more on the story, but I guess not. I'm sure that uh, some of the others will have something to say, though. Mochi, how are you doing? Guess who's the luckiest person in the galaxy? Me? Because I'd have got a gift from the Mochi Miles. I'll let that sink in. Go ahead and sit if you need to. Rounded magma pool. Ooh, I think that's a visual thing that we can use, which looks pretty cool. Still no idea what the secret does uh, behind the cave. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. But I have no idea what the little secret uh, waterfall cave has. But hey-ho. Ogden, hola B, I brought you something that nice be t uh, might be nice to have out there, but if you already have one, I can't return it, so the more the merrier, right? Portable Skur Slime. <laughs> We're just getting free gifts this entire time. Are you going to give me something as well, Thora? Hey Bay, I know it's silly, but I worry about the hard work you do out there, all on your own. So I sent you a little care package. Hopes it gives you a little extra up and a go. Azure Grass. Okay, so nothing related to the story. Just things related to free things. Okay. Right. I'm going to head this way. I think there might be a location that I've not been to as well. We've still got to get ourselves another two pods here. I think there's one that I've seen a couple of times. I need to, like, kind of glide a little bit, but I can't remember exactly where that is. I literally cannot remember. I think there might be a cave that I haven't explored as well, though. I was watching one of my friends stream a tiny little bit. He'd only just started, but I was like... Wait, I don't think I saw that cave before. So I believe it's this way. He was throwing some tar over here, but I think just down here to the right, there's a cave. Yeah, here, there's this cave here, and I don't know if I've been into this cave. We might as well grab this while we're here. I don't actually have much jelly stone, so this is going to be great to pick up. Yeah, I don't know if I've been in this cave. Uh, okay, never mind, I have. I wasn't sure if I'd been in or not. I was like, huh, I don't, I don't recognize that cave, but... Uh, nope, we have been in it. And then we have a little bit of deep brine here that we can pick up. So we might as well snag that as well. Let's go and throw these in here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these chickens for now. I kind of want to keep the roostros, but these hen hens, I'm not too bothered about. But I'm going to keep them for now just in case. I feel like traveling to the second island at night is probably not ideal. You know, we're not kind of like enjoying the the full vibrance of the island so we're probably gonna head back sleep till the morning and then we'll head out okay so this is a section which i think i'm actually meant to cut out of one of the videos because there was nothing here but there's another one of these teleporters here on this sort of like wild bit here of the island and this is obviously going to be the teleporter back from that third island 
Uh, so I just wanted to point this out here. I don't think I found any treasure pods over here, though. But I also don't know if I had my jetpack then. So there could be a treasure pod. And there is. There we go. I think that's a 13th, which gives us rock fragments. So we're only missing one more treasure pod in this zone. And I have no idea where it will be. Okay, through the portal we go. Let's go and explore this beautiful island again. So we did kind of check the coast here. So I guess we want to head more that direction now. We're kind of going into the fog here. However, we will be able to find, I'm hoping, uh, some more new slimes this way. And we're also going to try and collect as much of the buzz wax as we can. Which should be on some of the trees. You're just one of these. Okay, so I'm going to take a thorough look around here. We have 24 pods to find. Either on this island or in this zone. So we have a lot of things that we still need to find. I'm sure a bunch of them are going to be like decorations. But there's also probably going to be like maybe a couple more teleporters and stuff like that as well. So I guess we're just going to head uh, in this direction. And we will see what's down here. We have water in case we come across any tar. We have rock slimes. I've not found any... Not found any flutter slimes yet, though. That is one of my main goals right now. I want to find the flutter slimes. Or something along those lines. Because the, they look really cute. And they're a new slime. And I want to find them. And I want to have some for myself. Lots of different chickens around here. You're just a chickadoo. I just wanted a, a different type of chicken. You know, I guess what's down here? Probably a treasure pod or something. Okay, maybe not. I was like, oh, there could be a treasure pod, but there's actually nothing down here. You getting me going that way for no reason. That is absolutely disgusting. Did something else explode up? Whoa! Oh! <gasps> It's a hunter! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey! Yes! We got the hunter slime! It's a hunter... What? What? What is it? I forgot what it's called. It's a, a hunter... F flutter? No, not flutter. What is it? Hun it's gonna say, isn't it? It's a hunter cotton. There we go. I was like... I forgot what it was called. I thought you was a treasure pod then for a second. Hold on. No, no, go away. You are a nasty tar. And we don't want anything to do with you. No, no, no. Where is the hunter's gone? I want a couple more plots. So I can take them back and then I can get some hunter gordos. Not gordos, uh, hunter. Ooh, oh, I can fill up my water here. Hey, there we go. See, you came prepared. Look at that. Uh, I want a couple more hunter plots so I can get some hunter lagos. I don't even know what I would merge them with. There's one. Have you already been fed, sir? I feel like because you're not invisible. You've already been fed. Okay. So you've already been fed. Hey, there's another plot there, though. Right. We need to try and find one that's a little bit invisible. Because I think that's when they're hungry. Although there doesn't seem to be any around here, which is a shame. Damn it. I was hoping we could have got some. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there we go. Now, because these are Lagos, I haven't been able to gather information on them. So I can't remember what their favorite food is. Their favorite food might be a Roostro, which is obviously a much more common, uh, much, much harder slime to come across. So that's a thing. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. There's a couple of little ones here. I got to get you. Yeah, there we go. Hunter Slime. Their favorite is Roostro. See, my memory serves me right. Lots of them. All right, let's get some more plots here. If I can get like 10 of them, I'll be happy. Did you eat that? Can you guys eat this food? There you go. Eat all of the foods. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Nom, 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 nom. All right, I'm just going to leave a couple of chickens dotted around and then hopefully they'll find them, they'll eat them, they'll gobble them up. 
Come on, guys. I know you want to eat some foods. Go eat the chickens. I'm letting them run around crazy for you. Go eat them so I can collect your plots. All right, one more maybe. Uh, I guess we'll collect some of these chickens up again, just so we've got them in case we come across a uh, a hunter gordo. Any more plots around? Any more plots? Would you like to eat a chicken? Would anyone like to eat this chicken? What about you? No? Oh, I hear a drone. I think it's on top of this pumpkin. It, uh, this pumpkin is mushroom. It is indeed. What do you have to say, buddy? Oh, there's also like what looks to be a switch on the wall there, too. The giant mushrooms on the island are responsible for maybe the greatest botanical discovery of my life. Sorry, but it's a secret. Oh, so the mushrooms do something, eh? The shroomies do something. What do they do? Well, what they do produce is these crystals for me. So I would gladly pick those up. I'll also let these guys go. You guys can wander. And now the question is, which direction do we go now? Because we're kind of... We're kind of able to go in a lot of directions. And we don't have the map. I kind of might go back this way because I have a feeling through here is going to be the map to that section. Because this cloud is only locked to this area. So it could be through here. Because that's kind of taken us back on ourselves. Oh, there's some beeswax there. Is that what gives us the buzzwax or does that give us the honey? I cannot quite remember. That might be the one that gives us the honey, actually. Look at us going across this little wooden bridge thing. I like it. <gasps> Speaking of honey, there's some more honey slimes. Let's go grab some of you guys. We only have one at home, so we might as well get as many as we can so we can get ourselves some friends. We may do Honey Hunter Lagos because we don't have either of those slimes yet, so that would be a good combination to start getting a bunch of the plots. So we'll probably get nine of you. And then, what are you? Oh, Min Mango! I was like, wait, you just produced um, a couple of uh, plots. We've got the Mint Mango now. And then what are you going to give us? Okay, you are going to give us the Buzzwax. So we're going to go get rid of these Roostros. Because I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. And then there's another one here as well. So where do we get the honey from? Because you would expect to get the, the honey from these, considering they are a... A bee's nest? How do we get the honey then? Unless it's just a... Is there a small percentage that it's going to drop honey? Maybe. Hey, look at that big boy down there. Way, hello. Do you want to come over here with us? <laughs> I love how we just jumped all the way up. He jumped very high, by the way. Just saying. He jumped incredibly high. Now, if I was a map as well, where would I be? Where would I be if I was a map? Oh, we have another door there. What? What? Which door is that? I have no idea which uh, slime that is. Let's go get some more honey here. Oh, wait. That's honey. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, chickens. Goodbye, chickens. You are going to have to say goodbye bye. Because I need that honey. I need this honey. Because I don't have any yet. There we go. Wild honey. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, how do I get back up? <laughs> okay, this is where the, the guy jumped down from, wasn't it? Are we going to get some more honey? Come over here. Or is this going to be buzzwax? Okay, your wild honey from that one. Yeah, I don't know the difference between them. Is Buzzwax like a wasp's nest and honey's a bee's? I don't know. How do I know the difference? Also, this this island is a giant maze of just things up and then things down. I have absolutely not got a clue where I'm going. It's just lots of islands that seem to be connected together. So you look like you would drop honey. And you do. But the other ones also look like they drop honey. That looks to be the sand. But we don't have space for you, unfortunately. 
We are completely maxed out on resources. I should have really made one of those other refinery things so I could kind of deposit things, but kind of didn't. So that's uh, that's my mistake. Do we go in this cave now? I think I'm always going to go into this cave. What are you? Moonju Nectar? Wait, what? Hold on a minute. Very sweet, but very sticky. Handle with Kerr. Wait, this resource didn't appear on the refinery before. Oh, it's a food! Favoured by the Flutter Slimes. Never mind, that would be why. So then that's why we've got a couple more things that we need to get here. We've got to find out maybe some other foods that slimes like. But what slimes are we missing? I don't even know what other slimes we're missing. Am I really going to deposit this radiant ore? To bring the mint mangoes back? I think we're going to have to. But then if we find a flutter slime, then we're going to have to drop something else. Speaking of that... Oh no, I thought that was a flutter slime then. Never mind. I thought that was a flutter slime. I am a little bit more upset now. I was like, oh, we had a flutter slime. We had a flutter slime. We did not. Oh, we just made our way back over to here. Okay. I'm still lost. I still have absolutely no idea where I am, where I've been. I feel like you guys also have no idea. All I was trying to do was find the little map token so I could unlock the map and actually see more. We have another another thing here that we can talk to. Let's go talk to you. I grew attached to this tree when I first discovered it. I used to sit here and tell it all about myself, but these days it's different. I see myself in it now. Two different paths struggling against the other, bound to this island and changed by it. But unlike this tree, I hope to leave the island someday. I want to find my way home. I really do. Are you on about this tree that's died? Or is it a different tree? Is it this big one here? Oh, it could be this big one here. This is a this is a pretty fancy tree. Look at this. I actually didn't look at it before. I didn't realize how fancy this tree was. I was too busy distracted by the honey and stuff. Is there anything up here? Ooh, there is a treasure pot here. What are you going to give us? Anything interesting? Dash boots module. Ooh, very nice. And then this is going to drop us into this cave that I think we was just in. Yeah, they're the phosphor slimes, aren't they? Yeah. Whoa, be nice. Be nice, guys. Come on. Come on, don't be rude. Be nice. Okay, it's getting night time, so I feel like we're not really going to find any flutters. There's that door again. Which slime is that that we need from that door? Because I don't know which one it was. What are you? Are you... Are you Boom again? No, you don't look like Boom. I don't know which one those are. Is that just a pink slime? It might just be like a pink plot or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, we got some more mint mangoes here. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. What I think I might do... <gasps> There is a honey, honey gordo over there. Oh, and there's the map. Yes. And there's another bot over there as well. Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to collect the map. We're going to read the drone. We're then going to head back home, deposit some of these resources. So we can start growing mint mango. We can start growing this moon dew nectar. So we don't need to collect it again. And then we can focus more on getting some of the slimes and some of the other secrets. So let's go reveal this map, which has a lot of blue here and some pink over there. So I think the blue is like the mushrooms. And then the pink is this pretty little zone over here. So I guess let's... Uh, I guess we already have uh, nine of these. We don't need any more. But we do have you that is protecting something. What are you protecting? Okay, it's just a cave. It's not a teleporter back, so we don't need to worry about it being a teleporter back. Ever since I came back, things have been a little fuzzy, like some of my memories stayed behind. 
So I come here now to clear my head. Just to, uh, I just let the sound of the falling water drown everything out. And then in that white noise, I can sometimes think clearly again. But then all I see it is it happening again. So I take a few breaths, steady myself, and get back to work. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Well, we are going to head home. So I think we can head home this way, along the beach. We're now getting batty slimes. So let's head home. I'm going to deposit this stuff. And then we'll go ahead and create ourselves a couple of new gardens. So... I will be right back. I completely forgot. We need a hunter plot for this. So let's go throw a hunter plot in here just to open this door to give us easier access to the teleporter. But then we do have enough plots anyway to be able to get more from the honey slimes anyway. So that's fine. So let's... Oh, actually. I forgot. We have a teleporter that we can use to get home easier. So let's go and throw that down, shall we? There we go. And back home we go. I forgot about that. See, it's smart having that with us so we can get home nice and easy. Okay, so first off, we're going to go ahead and make this a garden. There we go. We're going to go upgrade it completely. And then we're going to start growing some mint mango here. Because we're going to have a hunter honeys over here. Do we need to upgrade anything else in here at all? I guess we'll do the music box. We don't need the solar shield, uh, solar shield, so that's absolutely fine. So let's go throw all 10 of our honeys in here. And then let's give some of them uh, these plots. I know you guys are a little bit angry. I do apologize, but that's okay. Don't worry, guys. Everything will be okay. There we go. And then let's give you guys some mint mangoes just to calm you guys down a little bit. There you go. I know. I know, guys. Don't worry. But I'm going to go and collect one more hunter plot now because there's one more little guy in here somewhere. Where is he gone? One, two, three. I guess... No. No. Never mind. Never mind. He's already eaten the plot. He was very, very hungry. So we've now got the mint mango growing. We do still need to grow this moon dew nectar. Let's go ahead and pick up some more uh, water plots quickly here because we have a plenty of these. There we go. There's 36 of you. I've also lost a puddle. Puddle slime. One of them's disappeared. We had 10 in there before, but no, we don't. Oh, no. What happened to the little guy? I'm a little sad now. Oh, I hope I maybe accidentally put 11 in here instead of losing one of them. No, we've only got 10 in here. We lost one. Oh, I'm a little sad. One of them must have accidentally splashed out and I didn't realize. Oh, oh well. I guess we're missing out on a few more plots, but we've still got plenty of puddle plots that we can use. Don't have space for another garden here, though. So we can't exactly grow this moon dew nectar just yet. What are actually you classed as? Are you a fruit or a vegetable? I would assume you're a fruit. Uh, you are a... Oh, you're just a nectar. Okay, so you're a unique food then. Okay, we've never seen you before then. Let's go grab some more of you. I've been kind of neglecting these slimes a little bit, so we'll just go ahead and give them some food. There we go. I wish there was a way to, like, auto-harvest these. I know you can get drones later on, not in this version right yet, uh, but in, like, the original Slime Ranch, you had, like, drones and stuff to kind of make things easier. I wish that we could still do that. Uh, water lettuce, you guys eat those, right? Yeah. And then you guys also eat water lettuce. Do you guys, you guys eat f food as well, right? Yes. And then we'll give you guys these. You guys can have some of these. We 
Are you maxed out? Yes, you are. I'm going to have to sell a whole bunch more of these as well. I have way too many plots. Way too many plots than I can keep track of. Look at that. You're already getting maxed up again. Look, you're almost at 90 again on Tangle. That's crazy. Sorry, Angler. Not Tangle. Angler. <laughs> What's worth the most right now? Batty's worth quite a bunch. They're still going up. Phosphor's going up. Puddle's been going up. Whoops. We still have a lot to go. Alright, you guys can have those. How are we doing here? Still plenty to collect there. So I guess we'll give the rest of them to you guys. There you go. And Tabby's maxed out here as well, so we'll go and grab some of those. Right, I'm going to quickly go to my extra plot over here, which I'm going to mainly focus on with chickens. But just for now, I'm going to go ahead and start growing this Moonju Nectar, just so I know I don't need to worry about it. That is a lot of chickens. Holy, that's a lot. How many chickens do we have here? I mean, first off, how did you get out? That shouldn't happen. There must be like 50 chickens here. Are you guys really that efficient in this version? If you are, I definitely need to start getting more of you. Jesus, that's crazy. Right, garden. Let's grow you. And then let's grow... Oh. Oh, we can't actually grow you. Oh. So what do I do with this then? It's like its own unique thing. It says handle with cur. So this is more of a unique resource. I don't know if I can put it in the refinery. I'm assuming I can't because it doesn't show up here. So is it just a very unique, awkward food? It seems like it. Okay. I'm going to keep it with me then. And we're going to head back to the island and we're going to start exploring a little bit more of the island and see if we can find anything else like the flutter slime. We do have something else from Ogden, so let's go give that a look. Give that a look. It's good to see you. Hope you've been taking care of yourself out there, taking the time to fill your belly before every new decent descent into the unknown. Also, I understand that the plot has thickened like a good source, and you've encountered some kind of monolithic structure out there on the far, far, far end of the island. Scary stuff, but then maybe my hunch is correct that all the strange flora out there is not natural. Something just doesn't add up here, Beatrix. All the runes we've discovered across the Far Far Range have never looked as though they'd harmed the environment in any way. Sure, we don't know their purpose or who built them, but the feeling I always had was that they had a respect for this world. But maybe it happened anyway. Sometimes when you're out hiking, you step over a flower. Not as so to crush it, only uh, so as not to crush it, only to step on another. Sometimes the only way for those flowers to keep on growing is for you to have never been near them in the first place. But it's not all doom and gloom. Rainbow Island still seems to be thriving for now. Nature can find a balance, but it's not a guarantee. Ah, look at me getting preachy on you. Lo siento, Beatrix, I won't keep you. I don't know what you'll find beyond those walls, but I trust your boots in any garden. I know you'll do what's right. Good luck, Beatrix. Still not got a clue what's going on with this island. It's very weird. But let's go head back to the island and see if we can explore a little bit more. I guess I should try and bring some fruit with me for the Hunter Gordo. That would be a good idea. Yeah, let's go do that. Right, so I believe this is the way to get to the honey. I still don't know the difference between this one and where you get the beeswax. To me, they look very, <laughs> very, very similar. But I believe this is where the honey... Gordo is. Yep. Oh, crystal slime. Okay, we need a crystal plot for this door, which I think might just take us either into a cave or just to the other side of this door, so I didn't need to fly around like I did uh, just then. So let's keep an eye out for crystal slimes. That is something we'll need to keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure the tower just got destroyed then. So the music should disappear. Yes. There we go. Right. So, we have a honey gordo up here, and I'm curious what's on the other side. So, let's head up here, somehow. How are we going to get up here? Let's glide up this way, and then we'll fly up here as well. 
Where's this taking us? Alright, this is taking us back to the beach. And let's go see what is on the honey gordel. Luckily, we managed to have ourselves 40 cuberries. Uh, we will actually need a little bit more food now that I'm thinking about it. Is there any more fruit around? There's a bit of cuberries there, but I can't carry any just yet. There is a cave here, which is leading to a angler uh, plot that we need. Okay, so we've got a crystal and angler that we need. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Where are you guys eating your food from? Oh, are you kind of merging into the pink ones and then just... Oh, okay, maybe. Hmm. So we'll uh, we'll use this for now. I think I might need three cuberries is all I think I need. Once I've uh, fed a couple of these. So let's go and give you the pomegranates for now. And then we'll give you the cuberries. I think I'm going to need maybe another four. Something like that. And then there's a couple of cuberries down here. Which we can hopefully snag before they eat them. There we go. Is there any more? Doesn't look like it. I think three is the perfect number that we need. It's the perfect number. It's as if it was fate. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought... That we'd have the perfect number. And I may try and grab a screenshot as well. While it's trying to explode. So let's see if we can get it as well. One, two, three. There we go. And screenshot. There we go. Whee! <laughs> I love that. Now, what are you hiding in here? Mr. Honey Slime. What is in this Okay, well, we have a flutter plot that we need for that door. We've got a little section down there that we can check out. But what is this way? Another door? What is on that door? Another flutter one here as well? Okay, we really need to find these flutter slides there, don't we? We've got to find these so we can access these doors. So we need one there. And then one on the other side. I don't know if we need a third one. Potentially. I'm going to see just what's down in this section here. Because. This has got a little a little pod on it. Uh, you guys don't seem nice. So I'm just going to let you go over there. We've got a tank liner. So I think that's, that's where if you die. You kind of don't lose things. Uh, what is through here? Not too much, but we may need to jump here for a second just to keep ourselves safe from the water and dying. Because that is something we would not like to do. Oh, we did need an angler plot, didn't we? Okay, hold on. We did have that other door where we needed an angler plot, so I'm going to grab these. I don't know if we have any crystal slimes on this island, unfortunately. So that one I'm not too sure about. How do I get back to... That other section. Oh, I think it's just up here. Right, so that's where the honey was. So we want to head this way. Here we go. And then in here, we have the angler. Which is going to open this door. Which is going to... I think this is probably just going to allow us... Oh! No! This is like a really cool underwater cavern. Look at this! Ooh, I like. I like a lot. Let's let's jump up here. Let's let's explore a little bit. We have another door here. We can't get to it from this side. It seems like that opens from the other side. So there seems to be multiple ways to get into this cavern. So is there going to be something very very crucial in here at the top? What are you going to give us? You're going to give us a cave pillar. Then is there anything here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's crystals though. No, it's not. They're rock. Never mind. Darn it. I thought they were crystals for a second. Right. So this is a very interesting cave. Obviously, we needed to get the... You can either get in from that side or this side. But what is up here? What is through this direction? Where are you taking us? You're taking us out onto the edge here, which... Is this actually giving us anything that we don't know about? Oh, I guess it's going into the next zone again. So we can kind of fly across potentially, but... It did not unlock anything unique. It was just like a really nice view. And then we can see over to the other section, which we want to go to again at some point. There is obviously a map that we'll need to find for that, but... Interesting, uh... 
where that other door leads to. How do we get to that other door? Won't it be this way? Oh, we have another door here as well. There is a lot of doors on this on this island. There is a lot more on this island than there is on the other island, that's for sure. Okay, so that seems to be like here. Oh, it is. It's up there. And we need a flutter one for that. But how do we get up there? This is really, really interesting where all these doors are. We definitely need to spend more time on this island. There are a lot more secrets on here than it seems on the other island. A lot more doors. I mean, the island itself does seem a lot bigger than the other island. I'll give them that. But we've still yet to find the flutter slimes. Okay, my initial... My guess is that the flutter slimes are going to be based in the blue section. So just before we do end this episode, I think we're going to quickly head back over in that direction and just see if we can find a flutter slime just to finish off today's episode. <gasps> There's a flutter gordo. Whoa, look at that. What is that? That's a teleporter to like another... Can we go on the other side of that? Oh... <gasps> There seems to be like another one of those giant doors there as well that we found on the other island, but look at this! I wonder if they only take the nectar. So is that going to take a very long time for us to do? I'm kind of curious what what sort of food the flutter slimes like. Look at this though, behind! So this looks like this is either going to set up a, a teleporter or it's going to do like a water fountain or something. Um, yeah, I don't know what you would like. Can I go through this? Whoa! Okay, so I cannot go through here. But this looks... Very, very freaky. Uh, I'm... I'm weirded out. What on earth is this? This is crazy. Right then. Well, I think I'm going to finish today's episode here, guys. We're actually going to finish right here. And then we're going to explore this area a little bit more in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And I will catch you guys in the next video.